So remember yesterday we talked about, we did the first type of glazing with the bucket of glaze. What, remember what kind of glazing that was called? What do, what do we call it? Dip glazing, okay? When you put the slip on, you brushed it on the outside of your pots. But then when we use the bucket glaze, it's called dip glazing. And what color do we have? What color did everybody, what color is, when we dip, what color is it? Clear, okay. So today, we're going to talk about the flowing glazes, which we talked a little bit about yesterday. And um, remember that there, it shows you up here where the flowing glazes are. It says ceramics one flowing glazes. And those are the swatches of color that you have, the choices that you're going to be able to pick from. And um, if there's usually one open container up here, if you need to open a new container, just bring me the old container and I will open the new one for you can't open a new one um, because of the chemistry of them we're not supposed to let you open the new container so just if, if you run out just bring me the container so when we clear dipped you guys all came over here and used the bucket of glaze right when you use the color glazes from the second part of the glaze lab um, for the flowing glazes you're gonna take this container to your seat what color do you want do you know those are your choices up there um, when you use the flowing glazes, do you see how they get all kind of yucky around the top of the lids? It kind of like drips down. When you finish using it, if you if it looks like that, try not to leave it like that because then the lid doesn't seal very well. If you just go to the sink and get one of the yellow sponges and rinse out the sponge, then you can wipe it off before you put the lid on. Then it won't dry out and it won't leave these drips and yucky stuff all over the outside edge. Okay. Um, but when you're gonna use the flowing glazes, remember I talked about the clear glaze yesterday, you have to shake everything before you use it because the um, pieces or the particles in the glaze wanna separate the heavy things like the metals in the glaze, wanna come fall to the bottom, and then there's all the liquid or the suspension on the top. So just make sure when before you start to glaze with the flowing glazes, hold your hand on the lid, because if not, sometimes they pop off and then you're covered in glaze, okay? Um, so hold your hand on the lid and just shake it up a little bit and then I turn it and shake it a little bit more so that you get everything mixed back up in there, okay? Um, and then for flowing glazes, when we dip glaze, did you use any brushes or anything? No, we just use the dipping tongs and dip them right down in. For the flowing glazes, we use the brushes that are right up here with the flowing glazes, okay? All the flowing glaze brushes have these aqua blue or teal handles, whatever you want to call them. It's labeled on the outside of the brushes what they're for, okay? It's always sitting up here with the glazes. When, when you come to get your brush or when you pick out a brush, this is the infamous thing that happens in the glaze lab for ceramics. You see how this brush is still full of glaze? Someone didn't clean it out properly. So when you pick up your brush, go to the sink and rinse it out just with water first to make sure there's no glaze left in the brush, okay? Otherwise, when you pick your color, if you just stick the brush right down in the glaze and start to glaze your project, you might have another color mixed with it. And not only is it gonna show up on your project, it will contaminate the whole jar of colored glaze, okay? So just make sure you rinse your brushes out first, all right?